Hi family, it's Ray and I'm back with another word. It has been a minute since I've been on. I miss you all and I pray that you all have been doing well. Um, So this past like week or so that I've been off here, I've been getting a lot of messages and downloads. So I'm gonna be releasing a lot. Hopefully this week um, I'll be able to get most of them out. Um, but for now, the first message for today that I have is the harvest for the righteous versus the wicked. So the Lord gave me this dream on November 27th of this year. So yes, yeah, this is the first one he spoke to me to release. He, he spoke to me to release yesterday, but I was really busy. So I'm making my duty to get it out first thing today, this morning, today, December 1st. So I pray that you all have a blessed day and a blessed December, the last month of the year. We are literally in the 11th hour, the last hour of the year. So I pray that it's blessed for you all. But let's get right into the word, into the message. So harvest for the righteous versus the wicked. That's the title of this message. So the dream was on November 27th. I remember one minute I was in a field and there's green grass and lots of cows. Then I end up in a school setting and it's like everyone was rushing, the kids, everyone was rushing to get their stuff together. like getting their bags packed, getting their, their desk and everything cleaned up. But as they were doing so, it's like they were running into each other. They were leaving stuff behind. They were dropping papers all over the floor, all over the place. So everyone was just like, it was like a panic type of feeling. Like everybody was just rushing to get their stuff together. After they left, the room looked a mess. So I stayed behind and I was cleaning up and picking up papers and stuff like that. And even some people were even coming back to get stuff that they left behind. Someone left like a binder and another folder and something like that. So I noticed that I had them in my hand. I had my personal things with me, but I noticed that I still had two other things that weren't mine. So I was going back to put them back in the classroom. So I went to drive somewhere, but then I, that's when I noticed that I had stuff in my hand, so I drove back. Now it's like the scene is no longer green grass. Now it's just dirt. It looks, the whole thing, the whole field that was green, that was grass, is now dirt. It's dry dirt. And there's no more cows. It's one cow, and the cow was on the outside of the fence. And he was like chewing, but it wasn't, there was no grass there. So I didn't notice this until I got to the fence. That's when I looked in to see that there was no grass, there was no nothing. And so I saw the cow standing there chewing and I'm like, it just looked weird cause he wasn't, it, it was no grass there. So what are you chewing? So then the cow, as I, I kind of hesitated to go in and I just felt this energy, it felt weird. So I just, I turned back. I didn't even go in. I, I didn't even go into the gate. I didn't even cross over into that field. I just left. And, but as I was leaving, I turned back around and I saw the cow, he stood up on two legs instead of four. And there were also, there was this monkey, but he turned into a person, like he turned into a human. So normally for me, when I have monkeys in my dreams, they are, de they're demonic spirits. Like every time that I've had, that I've seen a monkey in my dream, it always shifted into an attack. So, so yeah, the monkey turned into a person and then there were two or three other pe people they had on military uniform and they were kind of monitoring that scene monitoring that field so i just wanted to help me get out of there and i ended up waking up but as i was waking up i saw a vision of these swirly um eyes i'll put the emoji here but it was like if you see them in cartoons you they're mostly used to to illustrate dizziness or confusion or hypnosis and then i saw a vision of a spider on its back and his legs were like going like this and then it shifted into a roach on his back and then he was like kicking his legs and his antlers were going all crazy. So they both were dying. Um, and then I woke up fully. So that was it. So the first land that was full of grass, beautiful green grass, the whole, the field was filled with cows represents the land of the, the harvest for the righteous. So that land clearly is fruitful. It produces things. It's abundant. Even the even the cow. Cows produce milk. Cows are used for food as a source of food, a source of milk drink, of course. And they also produce babies so the cycle can continue. So that the land, yeah, will continue to be fertile and will continue to produce. And not only that, but when these landowners or these farmers sell these pr produce and these products, then that that produces wealth for them that produces money for them so it's a cycle so this field this land is abundant that's how that's going to be the harvest of the righteous abundance and wealth producing things it's, it's going to be fruitful it's going to bear much fruit it's going to produce much fruit it's going to be a land flowing with milk and honey so that is the harvest for the righteous now for the wicked like i said it was bare it was literally dirt no grass nowhere it was one cow um and even the cow standing on two legs now instead of four represents scarcity and lack and decrease. Like I said, the the eyes, the vision of the eyes represents 
confusion, dizziness, hypno hypnosis, and then the monkey in my dreams, they were always represent evil, like tax and things like that. So that lets me know that this land is the land of the wicked that that's the harvest of the wicked those are the seeds the wickedness that that these people have been sowing it's any type of any type of wickedness any type of evil but the spider dying the roach dying the monkey the bendy eyes well i don't know what you call that all of that just showed me wickedness it symbol it symbolizes wickedness and evil so these people who are going to be reaping the harvest of the wicked are people who have been sowing seeds of wickedness in any way shape or form the message is time is winding down so in the dream like i said in the beginning everybody was panicking everyone was rushing trying to get their things together so time is winding down and people are now or when it's too late are going to be trying to get their stuff together and you know it's not even going to be enough time because they've had time the lord has been extending his grace he's been extending the time he's been extending his mercy for people to take heed to the warnings and take heed to um his words and everything and some people they're just so stuck on in the, in their own ways and choosing choosing to to live wickedly and and not you know not repent not turn from their from their ways so those are ones who will be reaping the harvest of the wicked so the scripture he led me to was galatians chapter 6 verses 7 through 8 and it says do not be deceived god cannot be mocked a man reaps what he sows whoever sows to please their flesh from the flesh will reap destruction whoever sows to please the spirit from the spirit will reap eternal life so like i said in that land where it was fruitful and and i was talking about the cows and all these things the cycle and i said it keeps producing so that it never goes out <laughs> so whoever sows from the spirit will be reap, will reap eternal life and then so also deuteronomy 26 and 9 he brought us to this place and gave us this land, a land flowing with milk and honey. So I'll put these two in the description box below. Please test the spirit of course, take this word to the Lord. Ask the Lord to confirm this word for you and give you any more insights as it pertains to you specifically. If there's anything that you need to repent of, then do so. Just simply repent, ask for forgiveness, ask the Lord to help you to be more like him and, and just help you to grow and ask him to help you to remove things that are not pleasing to him, not pleasing in his sight, and he will do so. He's more than willing to forgive he's more than willing to receive you back he does it with love he does it with grace and so that offer is always there for you any time of day you know that's you and him so it's really simple to just repent ask for forgiveness and he promises that these things will be cleansed from you and washed away of course like i said of course test the spirit take this word to the lord ask for confirmation further clarity instructions and insight and he will do so please share this word with anyone who you feel may need to hear this word don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel so that you're notified of any future uploads when i post and i'll be back soon with another word